In this video, we're going to give you seven blue healer puppy training tips. Blue healers are loving, loyal, and excellent dogs because they are active and ready to do just about anything. But if not trained properly, blue healers can be destructive and quite a headache. So in this video, we hope to give you seven ways to train your blue healer and make for a happy, healthy life for both the dog and the family. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We make dog videos so that you and your family can make the best decision on your next pet. We hope this video educates you and gives you the confidence to raise a happy and healthy blue healer. Let's get started with number one. That is to socialize. When you get your blue healer, it's important that you get your dog around other dogs and other humans. Have other humans hold your dog, pet them, and then get your dog around as many people, places, and things as you possibly can early on. Blue healers have a loving drive and they want to be around people, but it's important that you do that early on to get them used to other people and other human beings. If you do this, your blue healer will be around others without you having to worry as they get older. The number two tip is exercise. This is probably the most important. If you followed our channel for any length of time, you know that we love talking about how to exercise with your dog. We think it's very, very important, not just for your dog, but for you as well. Because when you play with your dog, you build that bond that you just can't do any other way. So make sure when you give your dog exercise, you're not just throwing them out in the backyard, but instead you're playing, running, playing fetch with them, doing agility drills with them. This is great for the dog. And like we said, it forms a bond that will only grow and grow as your dog gets older. So we can't stress enough, you need to exercise with your dog, especially a blue healer, as they are very active and will appreciate this and make it easier for you to train them in other areas if they're worn out and have all that energy burned up. Number three tip, remember that blue healers have an active mind. They're an active dog with a working mentality and they're looking for a job to do. So just like we said you need to keep your dog active outside running, you also need to make sure that you keep their mind active as well. So you can do this by playing with them inside, hiding a ball, hiding from them, making them find you. Anything that involves them using their brain is very important because a blue healer is very smart and they're used to having a job to do. So they want to make you happy in just about any way possible. So it's very important that you remember to exercise their mind as well. The number four tip is a reminder that your dog needs to ask first. It's okay for them to be a dog, but before they do anything, they need your permission. When you first get your dog, it may seem that you're saying no all the time. No, they can't be on the couch. No, they can't go in there. No, they can't eat this or that. But you're not saying no as much as you're saying you need to ask for permission before you can do this. Sometimes it does feel like you're telling your dog they can't be a dog. But that's not the case, especially with an active blue healer. They can do those things, but they need to get your permission first. So work on this early on when they're a puppy that they need to ask your permission before they go any further in what they're going to do. It'll look like your dog sitting and looking at you for the go ahead. This is the goal and what you wanna to do to make sure that your dog is under control and listening to you. The number five tip is to get nipping under control. Blue healers are considered a mouthy breed, meaning that they want to communicate with their mouth. So even though they think it's harmless, this is something you definitely want to get control of early on when you get your blue healer. You can do this by staying calm when your dog does nip at you, and you can yelp when they do nip. Yelping is a sign that this wasn't good, and it definitely hurt, and we'd like you to stop. So every time your dog opens their mouth and makes contact with you, you can yip to make sure that they know that's not good. But it's very important for you to stay calm when doing this. Your natural reaction when a dog nips is to kind of react jerky, but instead you need to be calm, yip, and eventually they'll understand that that's not good. The number six tip with the blue healer is to be consistent. 
And because blue healers are so smart, you don't need to be consistent for that long. A blue healer will pick up new things very quickly, but they'll also pick up the wrong things if you're not consistent. If you're consistent in learning a new trick or trying to create a new behavior, a blue healer will pick it up quicker than you think. So if you're consistent, you will have a very smart dog that's able to do quite a few things. But if you're not consistent, a blue healer can stray pretty quick because they're so smart and they're driven to work that they can be destructive and a headache very quick if the owner is not calm, assertive, and consistent. And that brings us to number seven, calm assertive. When dealing with such a active breed, it can be frustrating at times, but it's important that you are calm and assertive with your dog. You are the leader and it's important that your positive, relaxed manner to help the dog grow in their maturity, in their smarts, and in their training abilities. So remember, when you train a blue healer, stay calm, consistent, and get plenty of exercise and you and your blue healer will have a long life together that's going to be happy and healthy. We hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll put more images of the beautiful blue healer for you to enjoy and we'll see you on the next video.